Hello y'all, this is Red Flood, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod set in a world where things are kind of absurd apparently, and also no one really won World War I. We have a select hemisphere screen now, and there's the Occident and the Orient, so I guess one is the Western Hemisphere and the other is the Eastern Hemisphere. Let's see the countries, what are featured countries in the Occident section first. Here we have a few different nations. And they are, well, the notable ones anyway are the Russian Empire, the German Socialist Red Republic, which translates to the German Socialist Soviet Republic in English, I believe. There is Avant Garde France, the United Kingdom, the Kingdom of Italy, the United States of America, the Commonwealth of Poland, the Austrian Empire, Fiume, the Brazilian Popular Republic, the Republic of Armenia, the Belarusian Democratic Republic, the Ukrainian People's Republic, the Yugoslav State, AYR Thracia, the Grand Duchy of Finland, the Kabkaz Society, the Southeastern Union, the Baltic Governorate General, and the Kazan Military District. And let's go back now and see what's going on in the Orient. Here there is the Empire of Japan, there is South Rosia, Mantetsu, the Korean Governorate, the United Provinces led by Winston Churchill, the Shahdom of Persia, Yishov, Assyria, the Andwe clique, the Imperial Authority, Transbaikal, the Altai Confederation, the Far Eastern Governorate General, the Siberian Governorate General, and the Turkestan Governorate General. Red Flood, if I believe, is originally from a book event in Kaiserreich where no one originally won, well, no one won World War I. And the lore has changed a bit from that original event. If I recall, the Russian Empire being led by Alexander Kolchak here, that was in early development, so was a Red Germany. But I think avant-garde France and accelerationism as a concept, which RF became so well known for within Hoi 4's community and the people who play it, its ideology, all that came later. And this mod has say 11 new ideologies and they are acceler accelerationists i'll come back to that in a moment there's anarchism there is vanguard socialism popular socialist this is revisionist socialist there's progressive well there's progressive then liberal we got conservative polyarchy okay is that like an ogliarchy or something there's despotic and there is reactionary yeah, so let's talk about accelerationism for a brief moment. There are some sub-ideologies for it, but just to read the ideology description... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of it. Okay, so I think this is the futurist version of the futurist sub-ideology, which originates from our timeline's futurism, and that's like from the early 1910s, I think. And yeah, this is just futurism. And... That is very long. Okay, forget about it. But accelerationism generally wants to rejuvenate the nation somehow. I believe that's a running theme for it. But the sub-ideologies may be a little bit different in their policies and goals. And let's go to our decisions. And we have things like political actions and peacetime actions. And then going to the research tree now. Well, don't go to the research tree. We have a government system in Red Flood. And so you can have your head of government, your foreign minister, your economy minister, minister of the interior, and head of military intelligence. And these positions are really set. So I think for most countries anyway, or all of them. And that means they cannot be changed. You have no standard political advisors in Red Flood. In this modification, you just have the government system. And... This mod does have a unique, it's a custom UI. I think it's going for a art deco look, I think, which was really popular in the 1930s. And the focus trees as a whole usually have a big artistic aesthetic going on, especially futurism and cubism. And let's go to the research tree now and go into inventory. It looks like standard Hoi 4. Support companies, yes, armor, artillery, naval, naval support, yeah, it just seems like standard Hoi 4 focus tree, engineering and industry, which is fine. That is all looked at now. So let's go over each faction in the world 
and there are I think like three or four of them there is the Roth front the red front I think that's what that means and that consists of Germany who leads it but there is also Hungary the Hungarian Council Republic there's Denmark the Norwegian People's State which is up here they don't control all of Norway for the record there is also SS, well, the SR Transylvania, so Transylvania and Slovak, Slovakia, and that is the members of the Rot Front. I think Brazil used to be a member of it, but they got in a more recent update to the mod. They're out of it now. Then we have the Intermarium, that is a faction consisting of Poland, who leads it, and also Lithuania, Belarus, and Ukraine. And what else is there? There's a couple more. There's Birkenid. Which, what kind of faction is that? It's led by Sweden, and that is Sweden, Iceland, Denmark, and... Wait, no, it's... It is Norway. It's Norway... It's... Okay. The, not, the Kingdom of Denmark and Iceland and Prussia. So Sweden, Norway, the Kingdom of Denmark and Iceland, so effectively Iceland and Prussia. And we have the League Solar, that's the faction of avant-garde France, and that consists of them, Fiume, Ireland, the Senegal, well Senegal, and the Caribbean Futuriste, and there's the Entente, and that is led by the UK, and that is a lot of places, there is the Madras Presidency, Dominion of Canada, New Zealand, West Australia, Australia, South Africa, Greece, Italy, Montenegro, the East African Federation, West African Federation, Netherlands, Dutch East Indies, Dutch New Guinea, Kingdom of Egypt, Muscat and Oman, the Kingdom of Hejaz, United States of Malaya, Ceylon, Iraq, Sudan, the Central African Confederation, the Aden Protectorate, so that's like in Yemen, Ireland, the Trans-Caspian Protectorate, and Nigeria, and that's the Entente. Any more factions I'm missing here? Yes, there is a couple more, I think it looks like, like three more. There is the Russian Empire, that's led by Russia, and it consists of all of them and their subjects and then we have the Bayon government that's just one country there's United Guomindang and that is the who leads that that's led by the Nanjing government and that is the Hunan clique the Fujian government the Liangguang clique and the Yunnan clique and then we have the Japanese faction the Daito Kaioken the great greater East Asian co-prosperity spirit that is Japan the kingdom of Marak Songhatri the Empire of Indochina, Mantetsu, and the Korean Governorate. And that is all the factions, and let's go over, over all the countries in the world now. We'll start in Africa. We have the Spanish Republic in Morocco. There's avant-garde France and Algeria. There's the Kingdom of Italy and Libya. We have the Sultanate, well, the Kingdom of Egypt, subject of the, subject of the British. There's the Kingdom of Sudan, subject of the British. We have the Senussi Emirate. There's the Traweg Territory. Mahidist, Mahidist Chad, Lam, Nigeria, West African Federation, they're subjects of the British. There is Liberia, the Republic of Guinea, United Kingdom is in Sierra Leone. We have the Portuguese and Portuguese Guinea. And there is Federation du Sudan, and they're a subject of the they're a subject of the French. And that is West Africa. We have Upper well, Republic of Mali and Upper Volta. Going more toward East Africa now. There's the Kingdom of Italy, who have just taken over all of Ethiopia. We have the East African Federation, subject of the British, Kabyaland, Adamawa, the Prussian Congo, the People's Republic of the Congo, the Belgian Army Remnants, the Congolese Republic, the Guinean Condominium, they're a subject of the Spanish. We have Portuguese West Africa and Portuguese East Africa. There's the Central African Confederation, subject of the British, and the South Af well, South Africa, they're a subject of the British. And we have a divided Madagascar, and they're both at war with one another. And we have the Republic of Madagascar and the Malagasy Kingdom. Going over to Australia, we have West Australia and Australia. And then there is New Zealand, and all of them are subjects of the British. We have Dutch New Guinea, they're Dutch. There's Dutch East Indies, the United States Malaya, they're a puppet of the British. The Philippine Commonwealth, puppet of the USA. There's the Empire of Indochina, their puppet of the Japanese. We have the Kingdom of Siam, Burma, the non clique We're getting into a divided China now. The Japanese are in southern China quite a bit. We have the Liangguang clique, the 
Fujian government, the Hunan clique, the Nanjing government, and Japanese Taiwan is a thing in this mod. You have the Beiyang government who's fighting the Japanese and their faction members in the co-prosperity spear. There's the Ma clique, the Sichuan clique, Tibet. We have the Andwei clique, Kuri. The Mongolian People's Army, Mantetsu, subject of the Japanese. Korean government, they're a puppet of the Japanese, South Rosia. Here is the Empire of Japan. And Transbaikal is up in Siberia, almost. Then there is the Imperial Authority, and they're part of the Russian Empire. But it should be noted, well, they're a member of the faction of the Russian Empire, but it should be noted they're not really a direct puppet of them. There's the Altai Confederation, the Xinjiang, Xinjiang clique, and going down south, we have a divided India. So there's a divided India and a divided China in this modification. And there is the Kingdom of Kashmir, the Punjab province, the Republic of Bharat. We have the United Provinces and they have a truce with Bharat. There's Hindustan Socialist Republic, the Federal Republic of India, who looks pretty powerful in the region. Bangistan, Bangistan, Assam, Burma, Bhutan, Nepal. There is Hyderabad. The Madras Presidency, who's a subject of the British, the Kingdom of Mysore, the Kingdom of Travancore, and Ceylon, subject of the British. Going more to the east, well, more to the west, really. We have the Kingdom of Afghanistan, and in Central Asia, there's the Emirate of Turkestan, the, well, the Republic of Turkestan, Khorizam. Here we have the Trans Caspian Protectorate, who's kind of, they're a subject of the British, they're just here. We have the Shah of Persia, they have a military access deal with the UK. And also in Central Asia is the Turkestan Governorate General. They're a subject of the Russians. There's so many countries, my goodness. We have mandatory Iraq, subject of the British. Well, puppet of the British. We have Assyria, Kurdistan. They're a puppet of the Sublime Porte, which is, where are they at? They're over here. Yes, they control Constantinople. There's the Anatolian Villettes, and they're a puppet of the sublime Ottoman state, the, the sublime Porte or whatever. We have a big Republic of Armenia. There's the Kabkaz Society. There's the Syrian Republic. What is this? Alexandretta? I guess so. And Alawaita? And then south of them is Lebanon, Jordan. Well, no, that's the Kingdom of Syria. So there's two Syrias and they're fighting each other. As well as, I think, Yeshav here. Yeshiv which is like Israel in Red Flood. It looks like there's the Kingdom of Hejaz. They're a member of the Entente. The Son of Nejd. There's the Aden Protectorate. The Kingdom of Yemen. Muscat and Oman. And what else? Is that it for this region? It looks like it is. So let's cover the Russian Empire now and all of its members. So I'm just going to go over these and stop when we're done looking at all the puppets of Russia. There's the Far Eastern Governorate General, the Imperial Authority, mentioned them already. Siberian Siberian Governorate General, the Tran the Russian Governorate General, the Kazan Military District, the Southeastern Union. I have listed the Kavkaz Society. They're not part of the Russian faction though. There is Novorossiya. Oh, the Novorossian Governorate General. They're a subject of Russia. We have the Baltic Governorate General. And the Grand Duchy of Finland and the Russian Empire itself, which is massive and it's led by Alexander Kolchak. And moving into Eastern Europe, there is the Belarusian Democratic Republic, the Ukrainian People's Republic, the Lithuanian Republic, the Kingdom of Sweden, the Kingdom of Norway, the Norwegian People's State, the Commonwealth of Poland, Prussia, let's go into the Balkans and Central Europe more now. We have the Hungarian Council Republic, they're a member of the aforementioned Rot Front, and they have SR Transylvania and the Slovak Council Republic as their subjects. Then there is an independent Republic of Moldova, a small kingdom of Romania, AYR Thracia, which is essentially Bulgaria, the kingdom of Greece, the kingdom of Albania, the kingdom of Montenegro, and they're a subject of the Italians, and they once had a focus tree in this mod to let them restore Rome, but I think it's been removed. There is the Yugoslav state, the Austrian Empire, the German Socialist Rath Republic, and there's the People's Republic of Denmark, the Norwegian people state may have already mentioned them. And going south of the Austrian Empire, we have the Kingdom of Italy, Fiume. The well, there is the Havadic Fellowship. That is, they're in, well, that's Switzerland, and their independence is guaranteed by the Austrians. We have the Netherlands, Bologna, avant-garde France, 
the Spanish Republic. Is Andorra here? Andorra does exist here. And there is, let me see. Yeah. We have, what is this? Leonine City? That's Vatican City, essentially. There is San Marino, which is where Benito Mussolini is in this world. And San Monica, well, Monica, I guess, just got devoured by avant garde France in this timeline. There's the Kingdom of Portugal. And then going across mainland Europe, we have the United Kingdom. There is the Irish Republic, Ireland, and that's like Northern Ireland, essentially. We have Iceland, and let's go over to South America now. There is Venezuela, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, the Peruvian Communal Republic, the Brazilian Popular Republic, Bolivia, who's fine of war, Paraguay. We have Argentina, Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, and let's go to the north and to North America. And here, well, go through the Caribbean. I forgot to mention a tiny state over in Asia. They're right here. This is the... I just happen to think of them now. It's the Kingdom of Morak, Morak Songrati. And they're a subject of the Japanese. But going into the Caribbean now, we got... What is this? This is the Caribbean Futuriste, I think. Yes, it is. In the French Caribbean, the Caribbean Futuriste. There's the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba... And they are guaranteed by the German Socialists throughout the Republic. There's the UK and Jamaica. And in Central America, we have Panama, puppet of the U a puppet of the USA, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, British Honduras or Belize. And there is Mexico. Here we have the Dominion of Canada. And here, well, there's the... United States of America, which is led by Andrew Mellon when you start Red Flood in 1936. And they have, I didn't mention Haiti as a puppet of the USA, but they are a subject of them. And with that, this has been Red Flood. You can check out the mod in the video description. The link to it is there. What do you think of it? Tell me in the comment section below. And after you do that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.